this series of tutorials on uh, Task ISO 4, Data Modeling 3, where we're looking at the bookstore scenario. There's not going to be any uh, closed captions or um, subtitles available because I'm doing it live. Um, so you need to have the task open in front of you. That's always helpful. I'll flick backwards and forwards between um, the Word document I've got and my Visio modeler, but it's helpful to have that. Uh, we're going to model the system and then write our scope statement. And here is the information, the universe of discourse that we've got from the client. So to start with, we're going to need an entity called books. And the first thing it's going to need is a title. Two or more books may have the same title. The, st the asterisk implies that it's compulsory data, it's mandatory data, and there's no other things here. So I've already set up my Visio modeler to reflect what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to enter my first sentence. So I'm going to have an entity called book, a reference mode called book ID, and it has a title. There's my fact sentence. I need to make sure that I've got the right sort of objects. Title is a value. And we look at the constraints. Each book has exactly one title. How do I know this? Because it's compulsory data. So if it's compulsory data, that implies here in my uh, constraints, I need to either be exactly one or one or more. And given that each book only has one title, we're going to go with exactly one. How many books has each title? It's much better to rephrase this second question and because it makes more sense. For each title, how many books may be recorded? The answer, there is zero or more because it is possible for two books to have the same title. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to close that off. Make sure everything's in the right sort of place for me. Make sure my relationship is inside the box there. My, everything's in the right place. If it's not, I can go to properties, but that's in another video. The next thing I need to do is put in the author. Here it says, some books may have many authors, but they'll be stored as one entry. So even though there are a number of authors, really we're only looking at one entry. It's a mandatory field. And down the bottom, next to the hash mark, we have it's a high level of repetition with expected additions. A high level of repetition with expected additions. Yes, it's going to be repeated many times. Would it be useful as a list? <laughs> This one's up for debate. Let's look at what it says here. High level with expected additions means it wants to be able to add more data to this field. Should it be an entity? Should it be just a value object? It's an interesting question. We'll probably put it, for now, as an entity. So let's do that. So my book which has a reference mode book ID, has an author. And we'll go author ID. So my objects, my book, and my author is also an entity, and my constraints. It has to be exactly one. Because we're only, even though a book may have many authors, we're only storing one entry for it how many books they will rephrase that again for each author how many books may be recorded the answer will be zero or more so let's accept that and let's see what's next on our list a publisher and again a high level of repetition of data with expected additions so let's create publisher as an entity so book referenced by book id has a publisher and that's got a reference mode 
publisher ID. They're both entities, my constraints. Is it compulsory data? Yes, it's compulsory data. So I need that to be reflected here. So I'm going to choose exactly one and we're going to leave it as zero or more. So each publisher may have zero or more books recorded. Let's hit accept there. Let's look at our next one, which is category, fiction or non-fiction. Now this has got two asterisks, two hashes next to it. That's saying it's a high level of repetition of data, but we'll never have any changes. So refer back to this le the slide from uh, lecture two. It says, is it useful as a list? Yes. Will the list ever be added to? No. So it's going to become a value. So, book, book ID has a, and I've forgotten what it was, has a category. So it has a category. In this case, the category is a value. Constraints. Checking again on my constraints. It is a mandatory item. So it needs to be either exactly one or one or more. But it has only one category. And again, zero or more for the second constraint question. After category comes genre. And it says here, a book may have many genres. You'll notice it's not compulsory data, it's not mandatory data, but it will be coming from a list where we can expect additions. Because we can expect additions, it is best as an entity. So, book, and let's go to the guided form now. Book, book ID has genre but that is ref has a reference mode of genre ID they are both entities and constraints each book has how many genres well it says a book may have many genres and it is not compulsory data so that means we are at zero or more so it doesn't have to have one it's not compulsory not mandatory data so it's zero or more and each here again rephrase it and zero or more is the correct answer the correct response to that question there we hit accept after genre comes binding binding is similar to category but instead of it being mandatory it is now not mandatory so category was a value object and it was mandatory so in this case here with binding so a book has a binding binding is a value object it's a value object in the same way that category was again we're referring here will the list ever be added to the answer being no implies that it's a value so it has a value and my constraints each book has how many bindings? Well, we notice that binding is not mandatory. But each book is only going to have one type of binding in the end. So the answer here is going to be zero or one. And again, for the second question, it's zero or more. Each book has at most one binding, is what it said. After binding comes number of pages. Number of pages doesn't have anything next to it. So it's not compulsory data. There's not a high level of repetition of data. It just means it's going to be an ordinary value object. So number of pages and again being careful to not put any spaces in my object name there and capitalizing each word. Number of pages becomes a value. My constraints it's not mandatory, so we're going to go 0 or 1, because a book only really has one number of has one number of pages, but we do not need to enter it at the start. And here when we rephrase, we can see 0 or more is appropriate again. After a number of pages comes selling price. 
Selling price indicates a high level of repetition of data with expected additions and the owner wants to be able to add data to this field. So again, because they want it's going to be stored as a list, will the list be added to? Yes, we're going to make it an entity. So a book has a selling price. A book has a selling price, they're both entities, they're both purple there. Each book has how many selling prices? Well, I didn't check on whether or not it's mandatory. Selling price is not mandatory in this case. And again, that may seem strange, but this is what we've got from our client. The fact that I'm storing selling price as an entity seems strange in my mind, but this is what we've got from the client, and so we need to our system to reflect that. So it's not compulsory. And it's being stored. It's not compulsory. So we're going to have 0 or 1. And again, each book, has, how many books have that selling price? The answer is 0 or 1. So after that, we go to a shelf. Now a shelf, a book will only be on one shelf. It's not compulsory data, but we expect that we might rearrange the store, move things. So this is going to be best stored as an entity. So a book is on a shelf, which has a reference mode, shelf ID. Here we are there, my constraints, not mandatory, but it's only going to be able to be on one shelf at any one time. Okay, each book is on at most one shelf. And again, the correct answer there is zero or more. After shelf comes quantity. How many of this book are there in the shop? No, um, nothing to consider here, just like number of pages. So we are definitely going to store quantity. not a mandatory one so again we're going to go zero or one and we're going to choose zero or one. after that comes image but only one image will be stored for each book it's not compulsory data and it's not going to be selected from a list so again it's a value so it has an image image is a value and my constraints at most you're going to have one you may have none but you're at most going to have one and we can actually go here how many book has each image how for each image how many books may be recorded really we want we really want zero or one we can go zero or more here it is possible that there might be two books with the same cover page might be different editions or something like that so it would be safer to go zero or more okay that was image a synopsis again a synopsis has no um, notes next to it so we can just go ahead and make it a value object so a book has a syn synopsis synopsis is a value it's not mandatory so we're going to make it 0 or 1 and yeah it can be 0 or 1 and finally we have year published which is not compulsory data but has a high level of repetition with expected additions so again we are going to store this as Sorry, concentrating on my typing as an entity with its own um, reference mode there so you publish is going to be an entity my constraints I don't actually have to put one in to start with it's not a compulsory one 
and I'm definitely going to have for each year published how many books may be recorded definitely zero or more okay that really completes the things we want to store about the books from this level of stuff this this level of information given to us by the client so I'm going to close this video off and you'll need to watch the next video to see what happens after that.